Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today I want to uh, do an interview, a review, on my new AEMC uh, model number 6527 megometer. Same as an installation tester, slash installation tester, I should say. I'm going to do a little overview of it and uh, let y'all guys see, tell y'all guys about the pros and the cons about this, uh, this, um, this tester. Well, uh, AEMEC is a division of a company out of France, I believe, Chavon Arno, and uh, they've been around for a long time. In, in fact, I only have one other instrument besides this one by AEMC. AEMC. It's a, a, a little small pocket-sized multimeter, and uh, it's a little small compact multimeter, and uh, it's, it's, it's really nice. And I've uh, AEMC... It's been around for a long time. It's one of those companies like Mega. You know, you don't you don't see them and you don't see their, their tools in everybody's tool bag. But they their tools are high quality and um, you know it's a well known company and they put out some good stuff, you know, and that's one of those companies like that. Uh AEMC uh is nothing short of as far as their um uh, the test instruments, it's nothing short of being the best. I think, anyway. Uh, so, this meter falls in that category of, I'm saying, great and fantastic. Uh, this this test, I'm saying, is this this falls in that category. Uh, this one don't have all, this is one of the models that don't have all the bells and whistles like, like PI, uh, polarization index testing, or DAR testing, but you can still lock the test when you're taking a voltage, um, when you're testing something, doing an installation test, uh, you can lock the voltage, and I guess you can just count, you know, count yourself and do a, you know, to do the, the DAR testing or the PI test yourself. But and they have voltage test ranges from 250 uh, volts, 500, and 1,000, and it goes up to four, um, 4,000 mega ohms, and four giga ohms. I, and it has a real nice backlight. We'll get into some of that. Uh, as we go on with the with the uh, with the video, so I think it's a real nice test. But I'm gonna start with the with the, these test probes. These test probes that did not come with this meter. Um, in fact, these test probes they're from Unity, and um, I thought I, you know they have some real test probe, real nice test probes that come with this thing here. But I just didn't get them. Uh, this this um, these test probes are really nice. They're from Unity, and I just thought that they'll go nice with, with, with this, with these test probes, test leads, I'm sorry, and um, they're really nice, so this bag, this is a real nice bag, it's a real nice bag that comes with the with this tester, it has a little strap, I guess you can hold, uh, for the hole your meter in there, I don't see how you make it fit, because you can't make it go sideways, and the strap is like, it's going straight up and down, so I don't know what they... But anyway, this fits in here perfectly like that. Have all your accessories either on the side or in this little pocket. But uh, this is a real nice nylon bag. Uh, Kodora material bag. R really nice. The, uh, the croc clips. Really large. Nice size croc clips. This is... And if, you know, I like the design of them because it fits perfectly... You can see right here where one hand would fit under this curve and the other hand fits perfectly. The, the under, other finger fits perfectly up here. So this, and plus they're real, they're really large. Let me see if I have any flukes around that I could match them up to. Uh, I don't have them around close to me. But anyway, um, this, they're really large and they're nice too. They have a nice tight spring on them that closes and they have a nice grip, nice grip to them. These test leads right here, man, they feel top of the line. Um, I guess they're silicone, but they're real flexible. You know, they they they're really flexible and they feel really good. Is um, yes, they they. I mean, if you ask me, they feel better than some of the flukes that they have. And I'm gonna go as far as saying they feel better than to me than ProMaster. They really do. They, uh, if you've touched, uh, felt the the mega test leads before, 
and uh, I don't know, you know, just my opinion. You know, they they feel kind of like the te uh, the uh, mega uh, test leads, but these are really nice. They yeah, they do feel better than a, than uh, the Pro Master. You know, Pro Master test leads are really nice, but these really feel high quality. I mean, very high quality. Now, as far as this, I'm uh, this is better than I imagined. I like this. I like this tester. I like it. Like I said before, it don't have all of the bells and whistles like most of them have. I don't. It don't. You can't. It, it doesn't take the remote pro, but that's that's okay. I can live with that. Um, they have votes AC, votes DC. You get resistance. You get a continuity, and you get a killer ohm um, measurement. And the only person, the only accreditation lab I seen tested it was CE. And uh, let me see. All right. Yeah, that's the only one. And I and it takes six um double A batteries. Yeah. Six double A batteries. And it's a nice it's a it's a nice stand on it's a nice stand. It's on the back. Nice nice sturdy stand on the back. Nice wide screen. Nice backlight. Large digit uh, large uh, digits. I like it. And um, now, one thing I don't like about it. Let me read some of the some of the specs on it to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. For uh, the key features, okay, this insulation test voltages selections of 250, 250 volts, 500, and 1,000. So it measure uh, insulation to 4,000 mega ohms, 4 giga ohms. It has a test lock feature. Uh, autos discharge after installation test, AC DC voltmeter to 600 volt amps and 1000 volts DC, a resistance measurements up to four, 400 kilo ohms, continuity measurements up to 200 milliamps, uh, test lead resistance, um, compensation for accurate and low resistance measurements, auto hold function to freeze readings, large and bright dual display with blue backlight, auto power off, ergonomic overmoded case with back stand and complies with international insulation testing standards uh, including EN 61557 and the CE that's the CE right here marked for 600 volts uh, cat 4 um, rating cat 4 and 5 rating okay now um, this aside from that Again, I, I am really pleased with this meter. It costs about brand new. You get it for like about two seventy five, and it's a little bit more than the Klein. The Klein has one out, uh, about the same amount of features on it. Have one out like this, and in the future, I'm going to do a comparison between the two. But uh, just letting you guys know, this is this is a really if you're looking for a meter, a tester, uh, don't pass up a AEMC. Remember, it's a, it's a division of the Chauvin Ar Ar Arno uh, company, and don't 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 pass up AEMC uh, test instruments. They've been around for a while. They make some really good stuff. I know, you know, by default, a lot of us just when you think of a, a multimeter or a test instrument or a scope meter, you think about fluke, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, because I've done that. But there are more there are more than fluke on the market, and these companies know. That fluke name is renowned. It's like it's like a household name. So they they're stepping they're stepping their game up to compete against that. And man, they're giving you a lot more for the money, you know. And um, you, you you know like this, I think this will hold its own against any fluke in its range. I really do. And um, so I just want to. Matter of fact, let me just let me just do some tests right here and show you guys the ranges, the test ranges that that it's putting out. Okay. Okay. can see that 
We're going to start at 250 volts. And you'll see just what. Let's put down 250. Okay, he's putting out 268, 5.9 mega ohms, so I would say 6 mega ohms. That, all right. And do the 500. I'm putting out 523. That's good. Let's do the 1,000. I don't know if this meter can read 1,000 votes, but we'll see. It may just say OL. Okay, let's read it. Uh, 1,033 volts. Okay. Impedance 5. 5.6. Impedance from the meter. Okay. But anyway, um, this is a very good uh, insulation tester. I am very pleased with it. And um, if you guys are out there, you know, a lot of electricians, sometimes I'll be talking to the electrician, they'll be telling me, well, you know, why do I have an um, insulation tester? You know, when I have one because I like to check the wires. I really do like to check the wires, whether I'm in an old house or I'm doing a new insulation. You know, when you're pulling wires sometimes, wires can get nicked. You know, when you're pulling it through conduit and the conduit may have a burr on the end of, the, on the end of it and you're pulling it and you may be nicked and you don't know. I like to check my wires. So, uh, I always did like insulation testers to test my wires because the last thing you need up on startup, after you done pulled all that wire, you started to come to find out, find out there's a short, a short somewhere from you pulling wire because things happen. Wires get nicked, you know, you know, along the way and during installation and all that other stuff. So, uh, that's why I like to have an a, a insulation tester for those purposes, motors, because as an electrician, you're going to come across all of that stuff. So if you don't have one, it's best you think about getting one. But get yourself a good one. You know, get yourself a good a good, good insulation test. And don't go out and buy any of that cheap stuff that's out there. You know, Match Tech, uh, Match Tech and all those names that you don't know anything about. Get yourself a good one. Um, take care of your tools. And they'll take care of you. So, but anyway, I'm going to do another little, uh, before I close this video, I'm going to do another little test. I want to... Let's see something here. I had this old. Let me see. Headed around here. Okay, I had this old motor right here. This old fan motor. Let me see. Put this on the side. Let me put it over there. Old fan motor. Let's see what it says about this. This this doesn't work at all. This was in the bathroom. And it don't work. So, I'm going to see if it says that it's shorted out. Put it on 250 volts for that. It's a 120 volt uh, fan. Okay. So you can see. I'm saying that it's good. And when you see that OL, that's overload, that's the highest it can read. But the scale that you want to read is at the top right here. Right now it's saying like it's 2,000, 2,000 giga ohms. That's what it's saying. It's 2,000 giga ohms. So, they're saying it's not shorted out. Let me do it again. Okay. And another thing, it holds the reading when you when you um, let go of the test button. It holds the reading until you press it again. Then it goes away. I'm gonna try 500 volts and see what it tell me. It shouldn't be no different. Yeah, it's 200, 2,000 gig ohms. So, 
If Saint is not shorted it out, let me try another wire. 500 volts. It's telling me uh, 2,000 gig ohms, and that's the highest it can read as far as the uh, uh, numeric numbers right here, but it's showing you up on the scale. It's uh, 2,000 gig ohms. Probably go higher than that, but that's all it's reading up here. Okay, so, but... Anyway, guys, this is a real nice meter. Real nice tester for the buck. A little bit higher than the Klein. Same class range, uh, same class range, but a little bit higher than the Klein. But I, but I like it a whole lot. Real big screen, real big, big numeric decimals in here. Uh, I like it. And another, what I don't like is, um, I don't know if uh, this is made for like a, a magnetic strap. I'm going to have to call AEMC and see if they have a magnetic strap for this. I don't think so. I was looking around on the internet and I didn't see anything that said that it do. But this little insert right here, you know, you would think that unless, I don't know. I'm also looking down here also. I don't know if this thing flips all the way out. I didn't see it in the, in the manual saying that it does. And I don't want to put it up and break it. I'm going to have to call AEMC to see if it doesn't make that extra trap for this thing. But other than that, guys, I like this. And uh, this is another good one. If you guys are looking, uh, looking to get an installation tester and you run across this one uh, at a nice price, brand new, you get them like $275. If you run across anything cheaper than that and it's new, it's in good condition, that's, re that's really affordable. Um, you, know, you, won't go, you know, you won't have any regrets if you were to purchase this one and this is the model this is the model uh, 6527 is uh, have all the basic function functions that you need uh, if you're out there testing uh, you know you do electrical work and testing you have all the nice functions that you need uh, so uh, guys I, I want to thank you again for just letting me I hope I covered everything I know I forgot some things so I always do <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope that, um, I want to thank you for letting me take your time up. And if you think this video was helpful to you, and it may be helpful to someone else, um, if it's helpful to you and you haven't subscribed yet, do so now. And if you think it'll help somebody else, share it with them, and uh, maybe they'll subscribe. And um, leave a comment. You know, you leave a comment, man. If you see something that I, I could have did with this thing or didn't do, you know, um, leave a comment. You know, I know a lot of guys want me to do a little test, but my testing is limited. I'm in a small area right here. So, but the main thing is, you know, I did, you, you, you've seen a little bit high functions. That's enough to kind of help you make a decision if you want to get one like this or not. So guys, with that being said, uh, I want to thank you. You guys be safe out there and uh, take care. Peace out. <laughs>